never accept you. Superman and Lois revealed in its series premiere that one of the teenage boys is a super son, while the other remains human. But why is that? Superman and Lois reveals that one of the Kent boys is a super son, while the other still, mysteriously, remains human. One of the big aspects of the latest Arrowverse series is not only the return of the Man of Steel and Lois Lane on TV, but also their family life. While there have been several iterations of the DC couple in TV and film, Superman and Lois is the first property to have them tackle parenthood. In the comics, they may have only one son, but in the Aroverse, Lois and Clark actually have two teenage kids. Pre-Crisis on Infinite Earths, they initially had a baby son, Jonathan, but when Oliver Queen rebooted the multiverse, he rewrote their family history. With the creation of Earth Prime, Lois ends up revealing to the viewers that they now have two teenage boys. While Jonathan exists in the comics as the current Superboy Jordan is an original creation for the Aroverse. The story introduces how different they are with Jonathan being more outgoing while Jordan is the opposite, as he also deals with social anxiety. I know freshman year was pretty tough for me. <laughs> did, I, did I ever tell you about the time I was the team manager of the football? Everyone duct taped you to a tractor. Yeah, life's a little different than this. Up until the series premiere of Superman and Lois, Jonathan and Jordan never knew that their father was the legendary Superman. But after a major incident including heavy metal pipes, where they should have been severely hurt, that didn't end up being the case. Initially, Lois and Clark believed that it was Jonathan that managed to protect them both, as they were suspicious one of their sons had inherited Superman's powers. For the longest time, they thought it was Jonathan given how everything came so easy to him in life. But instead, it was revealed that Jordan was the one to be born with Clark's Kryptonian abilities. Thanks, Benny. Yeah. It's good to see you. No worries. This is a refreshing take because this allows Superman and Lois to play with comic viewers' expectations. Even if Jonathan may get powers now, the current state helps represent the deeper representation of Lois and Clark. Lois may not have Kryptonian superpowers, but her humanity alone has always been a superpower in its own right. No matter if it's comics, TV shows, films, and other media, Lois is always as integral to the Superman universe as Clark is. Aren't you curious how I know so much about you, Callum? That also goes for her role as a mother, as Lois brings just as much to their kids as Clark does. Even if Jonathan never gets powers, him still being human also allows Superman and Lois to represent Lois as much as they represent Clark. Given that Jordan doesn't exist in the comics, it gives the writers a lot of liberty to take him in interesting directions. In many ways, Jonathan could be the one that helps ground Jordan as he begins exploring his new abilities. It's not impossible for Superman and Lois to, one day, have both super sons with powers in future seasons or even later this season. Oh, touché, I know. But for the time being, it looks like the primary focus will be on Jordan in terms of a super son learning about his powers. Perhaps something like the Fortress of Solitude might be able to answer why only Jordan has powers right now. But fans will have to tune into Superman and Lois every week to discover what is going on with Jordan Kent. I understand. I understand all the excuses.